As governor of New Jersey, Woodrow Wilson championed many reform measures. As the Democrat nominee for president, he supported banking reform, lower tariffs, and more antitrust legislation. As the presidential campaign progressed, Wilson distanced himself from the rhetoric of the race, allowing Roosevelt and Taft to sling mud at one another. Taft criticized Roosevelt for his large ego, while Roosevelt dubbed Taft a fathead. Of the name-calling, insults, and banter between the two former friends, Wilson commented, Don't interfere when your enemy is destroying himself. The election of 1912 offered voters a variety of progressive choices. Roosevelt spoke out for women's suffrage, pensions for retirees, workers' compensation, an eight-hour workday, banning child labor, and a federal trade commission to regulate business. Wilson characterized all business monopolies as evil and championed small business and free market competition. Eugene V. Debs also ran as a socialist, while Taft campaigned on a much more conservative platform. Wilson captured 42% of the popular vote, but he won the electoral vote in overwhelming fashion, along with a Democrat majority in Congress. Wilson finished with 435 electoral votes to Roosevelt's 88. Taft finished with eight electoral votes, winning only the states of Utah and Vermont. In all, 75% of the votes went to reform candidates, allowing Wilson to declare that he had a mandate from the public to break up trust and expand the role of the federal government in social reform. As a child, Wilson had grown up in the South during the Civil War and Reconstruction. He had a very strict upbringing, and his father, grandfather, and uncle were all Presbyterian ministers. As a young adult, he worked as a lawyer, history professor, and later served as the president of Princeton University. He then went on to serve as the governor of New Jersey from 1911 to 1913. As governor, he supported legislation to regulate railroads and public utilities, fought for workers' compensation, and supported public calls for direct primaries, which would be a primary in which members of a party nominate candidates by direct vote. As president, Wilson's platform, known as the New Freedom, called for stronger antitrust legislation, a reduction of tariffs, and extensive banking reform. With this approach, Wilson hoped to take on what he referred to as a triple wall of privilege, tariffs, trust, and high finance. <laughs>